Yes, welcome to um, the seven must-have metal bass lures for sea fishing um, episode. Um, just going to run through lures I use when I'm bass fishing um, and other sort of you know fish you can catch on them, and the um, the good value of these lures versus plugs. Um, yeah, they're sort of the lures um, I don't go down to the beach without. Um, they'll suit all sorts of different conditions, you know, light winds to sort of strong winds in your face, and they'll deal with it all. And all of these lures, you feel really confident, you know, fishing for bass. Yeah, some of these lures, um, they um, you know, come with different colours, different pans, and different sort of. Um, they've got different profiles to give off sort of, you know, and they, they're all they're all good. And at the end of the day, if fish are there. It's not, it doesn't really matter what you've got on, they will take it. Um, but some of them are a bit, a bit more better suited to sort of to lighter gear you use or better suited to the conditions on the day, like wind you're dealing with and swell and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, the HGO Shore Jig, 40 grand, absolute brilliant value at 199. Um, I've had several bass on it on a straight retrieve. Um, I've even wound in really, really fast over rocky areas and bass just whack into it and you only need the, how it comes out of the packet just the, um, the hook the way it's rigged like that you can put another a hook up above as an assist hook but you don't need it just that one hook and um, yeah winding in really fast or slow I've had sand eel on it um, you know I've had bass on it it's a very very you see how sort of straight it is and how really straightforward the design is but I, I cannot emphasize how good this lure is for, for sea bass um, yeah really good value um, they do lots of different patterns and colors this is the scad color and I don't think it makes too much difference what color you use I mean I sometimes rig it with a red gill above the lure as a bit of a teaser and I've had bass on it like that um, well, I think the bass will just come straight on the shore jig anyway um, yeah probably the most best value um, quality lure to use um, you know when you're bass fishing um, you know, at the end of the day, if you do lose a third in the rocks, I think 199 doesn't really matter, does it? But um, yeah, I feel really confident when I use this lure um, fishing off the beach for bass. Yeah, the Abu Garcia Toby, 20 grand, a little bit expensive, 499, but quality is superb. It's got a nice wiggly action. Um, it casts reasonably well. Um, I wouldn't use it in a real strong headwind, but it would be definitely one of my go-to lures. It's got some nice little fins on it. I'm not sure if they make that much difference, but um, all in all, well-finished lure. It's not that expensive, and it's a, it's a must-have in the tackle box. Um, and yeah, bass will go for it. I mean, it, you know, it looks like a, a mini spread or you know, um, natural food to all sorts of fish. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely got to have it in your tackle box. Um, you can see there, you can see the angle of it, what a lovely sort of design it is, and how much it's going to flutter and give off those um, you know, signals to the um, predatory fish. Yeah, the Dane with Chinook Chrome 14 grand. A uh, little bit expensive, it's a, it's a light little lure, but I encountered these overseas. Um, by Dane, but, um, Nice uh, light lure for um, calm conditions when there's not too much wind or problems with swell and stuff like that. And just a very slow retrieve with these, and they don't sink too fast, so you can fish over snaggy ground with them. Come into lot, they come with sort of different um, colours as well if you're fishing murky water. And like I say, a very sort of slow retrieve, nice wiggly action there, the way they've sort of been designed. Um, and um, yeah, very, very effective for all, all sorts of species, especially bass um, in murky water. So yeah, definitely worth getting some different colours with these, whether you're fishing for salmon or trout. Rainbow trout would love this sort of thing as well. And um, probably what use a slightly lighter outfit rod with this, maybe something like a five to 15 grand rod, nice and light, um, teamed up with some sort of eight pound braid, something like that, some nice fluorocarbon. Um, you see there, ones there got some little pink sort of um, spots on it. It's really sort of that gives off a lot of shine when the water's murky. Like I say, rainbow trout, um, sea run trout will go for it. And again, um, you know, your flatfish and all your other different species, as well as your bass. Um, yeah, very, very nice lure. Um, it's nice to use um, the lighter stuff as well. 
to keep using sort of the heavier sorts, of, let's say 30 gram sort of lures. And you'll find that you, you can get some really big fish on these sort of lures as well, the small lures, so they're not to be overlooked. Uh, yeah, a little bit more expensive, but then when they come from Daiwa, uh, you do lots of different colours and varieties. And uh, the hooks are okay with these. I always like to swap them over and just put some slightly stronger hooks on, uh, nice sharp hooks. And um, yeah, all in all, very, um, you know, good lure, whether you're fishing over sort of sand or um, over, over, over rocky areas. Uh, yeah, great lure. <laughs>
they are, um, I cannot explain how effective they are, not just for bass, for picking off other species as well. As you'll find with fishing with plugs, you really, you know, you will, you will, you will run into them, but with the metals, you know, if there's anything else they, uh, they will, really will catch them. I mean, I've had flatfish on these lures, mackerel, bass, pollock, uh, you know, you can get cod on them. Um, there's a whole host of um, different species you can get on them. You can also use them for fresh water if you really want to. Um, salmon and things like that. Uh, sea run trout. Uh, yeah, and even overseas, for overseas fishing. Um, you know, these are cheap and uh, must have. Okay, I hope you Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe to my channel.